Yeah. How you doing? My name is Trenton Rodriguez here at JTEC Institute. And as you can see, we have a manual transmission that's already took apart. This has five gears. Well, it has 10 gears. Five low, six, six to 10 high. Um, these are all of its components already taken apart. Uh, this right here is your shift lever, or your clutch lever right here. You push this in while pushing the clutch in, which engages into the clutch fork. This engages into your transmission, your bearings and stuff like that. This is your shift top. Well, it's the top is this is at the top of your transmission, and if I spun it this way, this is what actually your shift knob comes down into from inside of the cabin and allows you to shift gears. I'm gonna flip it back over, and these are your shift forks. Your shift forks go onto the clutch sliders that I'll later show you on uh, in the video. This is your input shaft. This is uh, this is what allows you to uh, allows you actually to spin the motor. To have the motor go. These right here are your snap rings. They go down on here. As you can see, we took them off to show you. This is your clutch brake. You would put it on here, and if it spins freely, then that's how you would know it would be it would be bad. This is your input bearing, as you can see, right here. This right here is your input housing. What this does is, you put this in your in your house, and this oil hole right here, as you would see, up right here, it's an oil hole, and you would line it up right here where this oil hole is, and this allows your input bearing that's right here to get oiled up, so it wouldn't dry out or mess up any of the gears by not allowing them to get oil in it. Now we're gonna come right here and I'm gonna show you the actual main shaft. These right here are the counter shafts. These are your five gears. This is reverse right here. This is first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. And these clutch sliders allow you to get into your different gears. And the, your clutch sliders are, you would be able to activate them by these. These are your shifter top forks, so they would sit on top of these clutch sliders to allow you getting into second gear, third and between third and fourth gear, and then fifth to sixth gear. This is your auxiliary housing. It's also air powered, so the, this this allows you to go into overdrive or let you go into the gears six through ten. Um, and actually, when you inspect these. You would inspect it to make sure none of these gears are bad. You would spin them around. As you can see, there's little chips on fourth, third gear right here, and then the counter shafts. You see these are uh, chipped off and stuff, which is uh, which is most of the time it's operator error or you're not double clutching or shifting correctly. But that is about it for the manual transmission. I'll tell you everything. Well, that I know of, and this is only for training purposes, so thank you.